Simmons. Simmons is awesome. More power, more power in the legs. Jumping, touch, help, gotta win. That's it. Muckety, it's Scott. I've got another brilliant idea. Okay. Get a buttload of moon hoppers and meet me down in the field. All right, I'll see you there. What's the key to playing good moon hopper sevens? It's about your hops. The hops on these are going to give us the hops out there, going to give us the hops on the field. So we've got to build hops. I think it comes down to the hops. It hops. Girls, it's good for the glutes, good for the quads. It's even better than Pilates. Whoa, 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 whoa. I love moon hopping. I was the champ back in Canterbury in 1999. When are we going to play? Right now. Let's do it yes. now. Yes. Yeah. like team. Play hard, play safe, play fair. <laughs> So here it is, Moonhopper Rugby and Popeye kicks deep. There's a banana. Whoa, incoming marshmallow. And there's a banana in pyjamas. No relation, of course. The Sith Lord uses the force with a huge shoulder charge. Well, there is a dark side to every sport. Sean the Sheep picks up the pieces. Tell you who'd be better at this game. Sean Hoppy, all the Hoppawatties. Anyway, Moonhopper Rugby is a sport where nobody knows who'll stand out. And case in point here, Marshmallow Man. Look at him go. Breaking tackles, rolling over, scoring a try. Yeah! Missing a conversion. Well, the scoreboard tells the story. Kind of. Team Rugby with an attacking line out. Akira Iwani finds Sam Dixon. And the former Canterbury Moonhopping champion scores. Dixon with the conversion attempt and it's waved away, so the scores remain tied. We're missing something. We're battling out there. Struggling. You're missing me, Coach. Put me on the field. She's right. We need more hops. Show them how it's done. And straight away she has the ball. Yuani covering across. Oh. Radnam. Oh, oh. Yes! That's the hop we needed. Didn't you have a dream about that? <laughs> <laughs>